What's up, everybody? Alan Johnson with the AJ team. Um, I, it never fails. Um, at least five times a day, I get the same question. What's happening in the real estate market? Everyone is really intrigued, especially with all the news going on and, you know, and, 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 and just, you know, what's going on in the world. Everyone, you know, just wants to know what's going on in the market. So I'm going to show you what's going on in the market. I'm going to share my screen. And these are the numbers <clears throat> that I look at. I am going to show you up and down pretty much all of Northern Virginia right now. So, uh, and we can get into DC, we can get in some other locations. So slow down with me here a bit. So I live in Prince William County, right? So I'm gonna look at what's happening in Prince William County right now, right? So these numbers are from July, July of, of this year. So July typically is a very busy, busy month for us in real estate. We expect for that 40% of all of our homes are gonna sell during the summer, right? Between May, June, July, August, right? But what we saw is we saw that closed sales did not increase month over month from this time July to last time to last year in July. So 19 July to 18 in July, which is actually a good thing for Prince William County, right? Last year, uh, last month, those numbers were were down. It was down, I think, five or six percent. So we have the same amount of home selling this July as we did last year. That's a good thing, right? But what we are seeing is average sold price has gone down by almost 2%. So what that means, if you own a property, let's say that last year was worth 500,000, it's worth 2% less, it's worth 490 now. Um, sellers need to get their heads wrapped around the fact that the market is different, that, that the market is pulling back. And the other reason we know that the market's pulling back is that here, in July, you're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to see the average days on market increase. So average days on market, how long does it take your home to get a contract? You don't see increases during the summer. What you see is you're supposed to see is decreases during the summer and increases during the winter. We're already seeing de uh, increases in days on the market in the month of July. So I, we, we are trending towards the market that I've been telling you is coming, right? So let's look at Fairfax. We'll just go through this real quick, right? And just see if everything looks the same. So Fairfax. Mm, Closed sales month over month down by 5%. So if you compare July of last year to July of this year, July of this year, the closed number of sales are down 5%. Look at that average sold price, again, down by 1%, right? And average days on the market up, same thing, right? Now let's look at Alexandria, okay? So Alexandria City. Ah, so... This is a telltale sign. So I'm gonna slow down a bit here, right? So we know that like, if you look two months ago, Amazon was all the rage and everyone was saying, oh, the market's gonna go crazy, the market's gonna go crazy. And I told people it was gonna be in a very small space and it was gonna be for a small period of time. Look at this, Alexandria City. Closed sales year over year, down 17%. So there are 17% less homes being sold in Alexandria, right? And most people will argue that more people are holding on to their property. Okay, if more people are holding on to their properties, then that means the average sold price should be going up, but it's not. It's down more in Alexandria City than it is in Prince William County and Fairfax. Down three and a half percent. Look at that. Average days on the market's gone up, right? And total, vo total volume's gone down as well. All right, so let's look at, uh, at Arlington. Ah, so. Arlington, July, look at this, closed sales, down by 10% year over year, down month over month, average sold price, month over month for the first time in a long time, down 7% in Arlington. Now here's the good thing, average days on the market's gone down in Arlington, but it's still a market that's correcting. Now, I think the place that is intriguing to me, let's look at Stafford County real quick, so people are always looking for value, right? Look at Stafford. Stafford's up month over month. If you compare July to July, 11%. Average sold price has stayed, has been good year over year, but stayed steady in June. And average days on the market has gone down a bit, right? And last but not least, let's look at Loudoun County. <clears throat> right, so we're seeing the same thing in Loudoun County, right? Closed sales down, average sold price down, days on the market up. So 
what does that mean? What does that mean to, to, to buyers and sellers out there? So buyers, it's go time. If you're looking to move up, if you're looking to purchase, if you're looking to get investment properties, I would be fully all heels dug in trying to see if I can get it done, right? Prices pulling back and interest rates being low. We're seeing interest rates in the threes for, uh, for owner occupied property. And we're seeing interest rates in the fours for investment properties. You got to go like literally it's time for you to go. For sellers, you have to make sure that you price right from the beginning. You don't have an op, you don't have, you cannot make mistakes in this type of market. I saw it like, like 10 years ago. People made mistakes, they pump faked, and they ended up paying the price. So price right, prep right, and hire right. The numbers are crazy. 85% of agents that are selling right now in this market have, have never sold in a down market. So they only sold from 2012 until now, right? Which is a long period of time, but that market has always been increasing. They have never sold in a down market. Been in the game 18 years, I sold in a down market. In fact, I sold in two down markets, right? So you really wanna make sure that you price right from the beginning, you prep your house right from the beginning. We've got our contractors going into houses, making sure that they're painted correctly. Yes, it's not easy. Yes, we need to do more work, but if you pay up front and you take your time up front, you will reap the rewards in the back end, right? And then make sure you hire right. Make sure that I know you may have a friend or an aunt or a, an agent who's one of your friends who just got their licenses, but this is not the market, right? Even Redfin. Redfin has never sold in a down market. Never. They've only been in the up market. So their, their model works in a market that's going up right? Because it doesn't matter. You just put a hang, put a sign up. It doesn't take a whole lot of skill. Things can get done. But in the down market, you better have some experience. Um, so let's sit down and talk if you're thinking about buying or selling, because these are, these are, these are waters that we have navigated before. Alan Johnson with the AJ team. You have the dream. We have the address. Talk to you soon.